Rotorcraft 5-1 Helicopter System Helicopter Engines Let's talk about the two main types of helicopter engines, reciprocating and turbine. Reciprocating engines, also known as piston engines, are the go-to for smaller helicopters, especially those used in training. They're simple and cost-effective. On the flip side, turbine engines are the powerhouse for larger, high-performance helicopters. They deliver a lot of power for their size but come with a higher operating cost. In a nutshell, reciprocating engines are for simplicity and affordability in smaller choppers, while turbines are for the big boys needing that extra punch. Reciprocating Engine Dynamics He reciprocating engine, a key player in helicopter propulsion, consists of a series of pistons linked to a rotating crankshaft. This connection allows the up and down movement of the pistons to drive the rotation of the crankshaft, giving the engine its reciprocating name. The four-stroke engine, a common variant, undergoes four distinct cycles to produce power. In the intake stroke, as the piston moves away from the cylinder head, the intake valve opens, drawing in a mixture of fuel and air into the combustion chamber. On the return, the intake valve closes, and the fuel-air mixture is compressed. As compression nears completion, the spark plugs fire, igniting the compressed mixture to initiate the power stroke. The resulting rapidly expanding gases from the controlled burning drive the piston away from the cylinder head, providing the power needed to rotate the crankshaft. Subsequently, the piston moves back toward the cylinder head on the exhaust stroke, expelling the burned gases through the opened exhaust valve. Even at lower engine speeds, this four-stroke cycle repeats several hundred times per minute. In a four-cylinder engine, each cylinder operates on a different stroke, ensuring the continuous rotation of the crankshaft. This precision is maintained through the meticulous timing of power strokes in each cylinder. Understanding this intricate four-stroke cycle is fundamental to grasp how reciprocating engines efficiently power helicopters, making them a fascinating piece of engineering. Unveiling Turbine Engine Brilliance Within the intricate anatomy of most helicopters lies the gas turbine engine, an engineering marvel comprised of a compressor, combustion chamber, turbine, and gearbox assembly. This symphony of mechanical prowess commences with the compressor, which diligently compresses the ambient air. This compressed air then embarks on a journey into the combustion chamber, where atomized fuel gracefully intertwines with it. A fiery dance ensues as the fuel-air concoction ignites, permitting a controlled expansion. The resulting combustion gas exquisitely coerces a series of turbine wheels into motion, a choreography of power transmission. These turbines, in a harmonious ballet, bestow energy not only to the engine compressor but also to the main rotor system through a judiciously connected output shaft. In a grand finale, the combustion gas, having imparted its energy, gracefully exits through an exhaust outlet, completing its performance in this mechanical masterpiece. Understanding this intricate interplay is fundamental to appreciating how turbine engines, with their orchestrated precision, deliver power to helicopters, marking a pinnacle in engineering excellence. The compressor's mechanical ballet. Situated at the core of turbine engine sophistication, the compressor unfolds as a duet, whether axial or centrifugal, or an exquisite fusion of both. In the axial realm, envision the rotor's fan-like grace drawing air rearwards, interweaving with stator vanes acting as diffusers, sculpting a symphony of reduced velocity and heightened air pressure. Rows of rotor blades and stator vanes dance through pressure stages, dictated by the engine's air and pressure demands. Meanwhile, the centrifugal spectacle involves an impeller's pirouette, inducing a rhythmic inhalation and expulsion of air. The diffuser orchestrates a graceful slowdown, transforming velocity into compressed, high-pressure air. The finale unfolds in the compressor manifold, where this compressed air elegantly awaits its dispersal to the combustion chamber. This mechanical ballet, a testament to precision and elegance, encapsulates the compressor's role in transmuting ambient air into a high-pressure force, an exquisite act in the turbine engine's grand performance. The uninterrupted blaze of the combustion chamber. In the realm of turbine engines, the combustion process is a ceaseless affair, a departure from the intermittent nature found in piston engines. An igniter plug's sole purpose is to initiate the fuel-air mixture ignition during engine startup. Once this mixture catches fire, the combustion persists as long as the fuel-air amalgamation lingers. However, any interruption to this delicate equilibrium, be it in fuel, air, or both, triggers a cessation known as a flame out. In such instances, the engine necessitates a restart or re-ignition. For added resilience, certain helicopters boast auto-relight capabilities. 
This feature autonomously activates igniters to reignite combustion if the engine experiences a flame-out scenario, ensuring a continuous dance of controlled combustion in the turbine engine. The turbine's mechanical symphony. In the intricate ballet of helicopter propulsion, the turbine section takes center stage, a tapestry woven with two principal players, the illustrious gas producer, N1, and the formidable power turbine, N2 or NR. Imagine the gas producer, adorned with turbine wheels, a virtuoso driving the engine's self-sustainability. It elegantly powers vital components, the compressor, oil pump, and fuel pump, crafting a symphony of perpetual motion. Meanwhile, the power turbine assumes a dedicated role, choreographing the majestic propulsion of the main rotor system and its entourage through the enigmatic engine gearbox. Should the turbines choose the path of a direct drive affair, they lock arms through a common shaft, an elegant fusion of mechanical synergy. On the flip side, in the free turbine spectacle, they dance independently on separate shafts, each twirling to its own rhythm. This intricate turbine ballet, a saga of fixed or free interplay, paints the canvas of helicopter engineering with strokes of sophistication and precision, a testament to the nuanced poetry of aerial dynamics. Decoding the helicopter transmission elegance. At the heart of helicopter prowess lies the transmission system, a virtuoso channeling power to the main rotor, tail rotor, and accessories. Key components, including the main rotor transmission, tail rotor drive system, clutch, and freewheeling unit, dance in unison. The main rotor transmission propels the primary rotor, while the tail rotor system ensures controlled orientation. The clutch, a conductor of power flow, engages and disengages as needed, and the freewheeling unit adds a touch of grace during autorotation. Lubricated and cooled with dedicated oil, the transmission system is monitored through a sight gauge. Some models feature chip detectors, acting as vigilant guardians with warning lights on the pilot's panel, signaling internal hiccups in this aerial symphony. Navigating the main rotor transmission dynamics. The main rotor transmission, a pivotal component in helicopter engineering, serves a dual role. Firstly, it meticulously reduces the engine output revolutions per minute, R, P, M, to achieve the optimum rotor speed. This reduction varies among helicopters, for instance, with an engine revolution per minute of 2700, a 6 to 1 reduction would yield a rotor speed of 450 revolutions per minute, while a 9 to 1 reduction would result in a rotor speed of 300 revolutions per minute. To monitor this intricate dance, many helicopters feature a dual needle tachometer, offering insights into both engine and rotor revolutions per minute or a percentage of both. The rotor revolutions per minute needle plays a key role during clutch engagement, tracking rotor acceleration, and in autorotation, maintaining revolutions per minute. Within prescribed limits. Beyond this, in helicopters with horizontally mounted engines, the main rotor transmission assumes another critical role, shifting the axis of rotation from the horizontal axis of the engine to the vertical axis of the rotor shaft. This nuanced operation contributes to the helicopter's overall stability and functionality. Mastering the Tail Rotor Drive Ballet Enter the world of the tail rotor drive system, a choreography of precision that unfolds with a drive shaft powered from the main transmission and a tail rotor transmission gracefully mounted at the tail boom's end. The drive shaft, a flexible maestro, may manifest as one long shaft or a series of shorter shafts, intricately connected with flexible couplings at both ends. This design allows the drive shaft to flex seamlessly in harmony with the tail boom's movements. At the heart of this symphony lies the tail rotor transmission, orchestrating a right-angle drive for the tail rotor. A mechanical virtuoso, it might also incorporate gearing, fine-tuning the output for optimum tail rotor revolutions per minute. This dance of mechanical precision, encapsulated in, ensures the tail rotor's eloquent contribution to the helicopter's stability and maneuverability. If you click, like, and, subscribe, and leave a comment, we will provide a coupon for a free PDF download one of nine ebooks. However, each individual can only download up to one out of nine ebooks for free.